now let us discuss about capacitive transducers so let us say capacitive transducers so the principle of operation of uh, this capacitive transducer is based on the familiar equation of capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor that is c is equal to capacitance is equal to epsilon into a divided by d so here epsilon as we know epsilon is the permittivity of the medium where epsilon is equal to epsilon not into epsilon r epsilon r is relative permittivity of the medium and epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space and a is the overlapping area of the plates and d is the distance between the two plates so in this case any physical quantity which can cause change in either epsilon or a or d will cause change in the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor so therefore the physical quantity can be measured in terms of change in the capacitance so change in the capacitance can be measured by using uh, the bridges like uh, d sorties bridge or shearing bridge or any of the bridge so that change in the value of capacitance will give you the value of uh, input physical quantity so here uh, in this uh, in this section we are going to uh, discuss about the measurement of uh, the physical quantity like displacement in terms of change in the capacitance so here the displacement can cause change in either overlapping area of the plates or change in the distance between the two plates in this way uh, it will change the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor so therefore here we are going to measure the displacement in terms of change in either overlapping area or distance between the two plates now let us see capacitive transducers using change in area of the plates so here capacitive transducer uh, in case of capacitive transducer the capacitance change may occur because of uh, the change in effective area of the plates because we know that uh, according to the equation which we have seen the capacitance is directly proportional to the effective area of the plates so therefore any physical quantity which can cause change in the overlapping area or effective area of the plates will change the capacitance of the capacitor so therefore that physical quantity can be measured in terms of change in the capacitance of the capacitor so in this case as you can see in the diagram we are going to measure the physical quantity displacement so displacement is measured in terms of change in the capacitance so in this in the first case the the parallel plates of the capacitor are in the form of uh, the metal tubes so there is one metal tube which is uh, which contains another metal tube and in between the two metal tubes there is a dielectric medium so as uh, this metal tube the inner metal tube is moved inside so the the overlapping area or effective area will increase and therefore the capacitance will increase as this tube is moved inside and therefore the displacement uh, also the, the displacement can be measured in terms of the increase in the capacitance similarly as we take out the moving tube the capacitance decreases and accordingly the displacement can be measured so here the magnitude of displacement is directly proportional to the magnitude of capacitance and the direction of displacement uh, indi is indicated by whether the capacitance is increasing or decreasing similarly these are the parallel plates one is fixed plate and another one is moving plate when the moving plate is uh, uh, moved over another plate 
the capacitance increases and when the moving plate is moved away from the fixed plate the capacitance decreases so here also you can see the displacement the displacement can be measured in terms of uh, change in the capacitance of the capacitor now let us see capacitive transducers using change in the distance between the plates so in this type of uh, capacitive transducer the capacitance of the capacitor is changed by changing the distance between the plates so therefore here the displacement is measured in terms of change in the distance between the plates and hence change in the capacitance of the capacitor so in this case one is the fixed plate and another one is the movable plate so as we know c is equal to epsilon a divided a divided by d that means capacitance of a capacitor is inversely proportional to distance between the plates parallel plates so therefore here as the movable plate is moved towards the fixed plate the distance between the plates reduces and therefore the capacitance increases so the displacement of the movable plate is measured in terms of increase in the capacitance similarly if the movable plate is moved away from the fixed plate then the capacitance decreases in that case again the displacement is measured in terms of decrease in the capacitance and here the direction of displacement is decided by whether the capacitance is increasing or decreasing now let us see differential capacitor system so in case of a differential capacitor system there are two parallel plate capacitors formed by one common central plate let the normal position of the central plate is represented by solid line and therefore the capacitance is formed that is c1 and c2 are identical because the distance between the two outer plates from the central plate is equal so therefore the capacit the two capacitances c1 and c2 are equal in magnitude so here you can see c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c we can write it as epsilon a divided by d so a is uh, the overlapping area of the plates and d is the distance between the plates which are same for both the parallel plate capacitors so therefore both the capacitances are equal so now when this uh, central plate is displaced parallel to itself through a distance x right when the central plate is moved parallel to itself uh, by a distance x then the capacitances of the two capacitors become c1 is equal to epsilon a divided by d plus x because uh, the distance now the distance between the upper two plates increases by an amount x so c1 is equal to here epsilon a divided by d plus x similarly c2 is equal to epsilon a divided by d minus x now suppose if uh, an alternating voltage is applied between the terminals 1 and 3 in that case the voltage is across c1 and c2 will be e1 is equal to e into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 and e2 is equal to e into c1 divided by c1 plus c2 now e1 can if we replace c1 and c2 by the respective equations then we get e1 is equal to e into d plus x divided by 2d similarly e2 is equal to e into d minus x divided by 2d so now here if we take the difference between these two voltages in that case e1 minus e2 will be equal to e into x divided by d 
that means the difference voltage the difference voltage e1 minus e2 is directly proportional to the displacement of the central plate that is x so e1 minus e2 is directly proportional to x so therefore here as there is more displacement of the central plate so the difference voltage e1 minus e2 increases so therefore here uh, this differential capacitor system can be used to measure the displacement the displacement in terms of the difference voltage e1 minus e2